hello everyone so today i am going to implement this katana finisher moves so we will be able to kill the opponent with this finisher moves uh, of the katana so i'm going to use the animations of ghost samurai pack for this so this is the final preview let's see how to implement this so in this episode i will implement only the execution part with the animation and in the next episode i will show you how to cut through the mesh and decap decapitate and dismember the characters and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for the support okay so this is the ghost samurai animation pack and here is the preview i am going to focus on this execution animations and to use this moment animation this running animation so the character that i am doing at the using at the moment is usual third person character so okay uh, now i'll instead of this third person character I want to use this uh, there is another mannequin in the ghost samurai pack and here we have this bone that intend to attach the weapon so actually I have attached this weapon as a preview asset like this so if I I can just remove it like this but I'm going to keep it uh, because we need it uh, right katana okay so I am going to use this mesh for instead of the mannequin right so first uh, let me locate this mesh and go to the third person blueprint and instead of the mesh we already have I'm going to use SK ghost samurai mannequin and you and um, you should have noticed that now the animation is gone because we can't use the existing animation blueprint for the third person character where is it okay third person and mvp it doesn't work because this skeleton is slightly different but mostly the same it has some extra bones but we can easily retarget this so let me go to the skeleton of this third person uh, go samurai katana and set select humanoid rig and save and then go in this third person mannequin do the same open the mannequin skeleton and select humanoid rig and save now go to the animation blueprint of the third person character and retarget this duplicate and retarget as the target uh, select the ghost some um, ghost ue4 mannequin skeleton uh, with this in this ghost samurai katana ghost samurai katana and let's create a new folder mannequin retarget right okay now we should be able to use this animation blueprint instead of this one Sorry, I have selected the wrong mannequin. Actually, we should select this Ghost Samurai Katana, Ghost Samurai Katana character mesh and this is skeleton. 
so let me again delete this all right again open the go here retarget duplicate and retarget and select this one right now shall we test select this go here and point it right now it is working and we have a slight problem with the arm but we are go not going to use this animation we are going to replace this so this animation blueprint is using the let me open the anim graph here for idle run this is the animation it is using oh this is not the mesh this is the mesh right so uh, instead of this i am going to use idle of katana animation this one Oh, I no, not that one. this one right so for working oh wait yeah so for working we can use uh, let's try this for samurai defense work f in place This is the crouched version. Run loop. No, it's go samurai a post a straight run f loop in place. That's the one I should use. Straight run f in place right this one all right now let's check how it looks right great so now let's attach the katana here attach to the third person character under the mesh and I'm gonna attach it to the we have a bone here which is weapon R um, here with an R and reset these locations and rotation so it looks like this right now if I preview this is the way it looks okay right so I deleted all other animations because I am only focused on these animations and I won't implement these finisher moves uh, with this character with 
and AI character. Okay, uh, let's start with this one. So, yeah, let me go to the third person character and create a child character. Let's call it NPC, right? So, this is very simple. Select the mesh and duplicate. Oh, sorry, not duplicate. Create uh, instance because I need a different color. And as the body color, let's use some color like this. And I'm going to use that for the NPC, right? Now let me put one of the NPC characters here. And this is my character, right? So how to implement that again? So basically here I want to, I'm not going to set up the basic steps of like equip weapon and at uh, doing simple attacks so blocking or anything i just want to implement finishing moves the execution moves uh, so we can implement stuff like decapitation and dismemberment okay so uh, in the npc character i'll add a collider box collision like this so I'm going to use it uh, to detect the enemies so when the player is in this within this range player no there is a uh, player can I uh, like properly place itself and do the execution more mm, here on component begin overlap right now we need a blueprint interface to communicate between classes between characters epi execution uh, no attack right here i'll create a function set and uh, I'll give a reference input in the type of actor and I'll call it victim right okay uh, then Let's implement this function. Uh, let me create other, close other stuff. We don't need this project settings. So message look now. Here now I'll implement that interface. BPI attack. Compile. And set victim event. Okay, now promote this to a variable. I'll call it victim. Oh. Victim. Right. Okay. And now I'll add another input event for tax. attack and as the key I'm gonna use mouse button left mouse button close I'll implement attack action event here as well okay now what's the usual distance between these two characters for each animation mm. Yeah, 
here it's in the y direction this is minus 540 and this is minus 390 so okay so is that same slightly different okay right now I'll create a structure I'll call it execution moves now let's call it uh, finny moves right now as the first variable we need attack montage this should be of course uh, animation montage anim montage and another victim montage that is also needs to be a animation montage and uh, distance the distance that we need to have between the characters in order to properly execute that animation right <clears throat> and distance of course it has to be a float for now I'll put 200 this is 540 this is 390 okay not necessary to be 200 this is 340 this is 540 right okay 200 should be enough but for each set it differs so that's why I create a place to define that right now let's create montages from these two animations this is execution 5 create an montage and where's the other one this is executed 5 okay right here is one hit i'll add the notify here let's call it step and here another one I'll call it as decapitate right okay save and here somewhere here I'll add another notify let's call it go rag doll so this part I'm calling this part because uh, at this point the character should go into ragdoll mode but uh, I'm not sure this is where it is required but let's see okay now in order to play montages we need to add montage slot into the animation blueprint so here default slot montage now we can add play montages right so now when we play the press the attack button 
here first I'll add a do once not because we should not be able to do consecutive attacks until we finish one and if we have a valid victim is valid then we need to oh let me create a variable let's call it finishers and uh, i'm going to use the type finisher moves compile so here yeah actually uh, let me define them here mm. Where did I create those montages? Right here. This is execution. I'll add execution here and executed here. Save. Compile. Now we have those animations here. Right. Uh, now let me check these animations. Do we have root motion in those animations? Yeah, we do. Do we have enabled it? Not. Um, right. Yeah, let's enable it. And we have to do the same for the execution animation as well. Oh wait, reverse should be fine. Right now, so we have to get this is an oh wait. Alright, so actually we are going to have more than one finisher. So let me convert this to an array. Right. Now. Compile. So let me add one element. So we are only taking the zeroth one. But uh, let me add actually a couple of elements but still we have only the same set so it doesn't matter but we can implement the logic this way so here we need I'm going to get a random element later on I'm going to place different animation sets here but for now let's use the same we can get length sorry then of this one then we can define random boolean wait random sorry random integer not boolean in range means zero max length so actually we need something this should be minus one from the length because if the length of this finishers is five uh, then the maximum index we can have for here is four right now let me promote this to a variable i'll call it attack index oh wait what happened here looks like a bug index right now using the attack index we can get the attack index and then we can play animation montage let's see use this node let me split this and attack montage and as the skeletal mesh i'm going to use this one right uh 
now before that uh, we need to rotate our character towards the victim so set actor lock or rotation actually we need to set both location and rotation but for now let's not change the location so I'll use um, oh wait let's use this node oh, component 2 and use capsule so we can move it over time right now as the location get back the location so we need, don't need to change it let me collapse this part set location and as for the rotation we have to get the victim victims location like this and the actors location we already have it and then we have to find look at rotation from this actor towards the victim so here we only need to change the yo because the character don't rotate in other axis right now Mm -hmm. open the NPC here on the other actor when this component begin overlap on the let me overlap set this to overlap only with uh, yeah this should be fine on the other actor set victim interface code so as the victim use self and as the target use other actor okay team message not this node and victim is this character right and also on component and overlap we have to do the same but this time we need to set victim as none <coughs> so this should happen when the character moves away from us okay shall we try now just to see what happens nothing hmm. nothing yet right and if we don't have a valid victim oh wait let me for now let me skip this to once not uh, let's make this a little larger yeah and also uh, I need to disable the collisions for this katana So I'll set it to no collision. Right now, let's check. Okay, it does perform the animation. Right. 
now let's add another function to this PPA attack let's call it play victim montage and as an input I'll give um, which index I implemented here attack index attack index this should be an integer compile save right now let's implement that function also here play victim montage here I'll set the attack index with that one then from the finishers get a reference to that attack index and split this and now yeah play any montage play the victim montage like this and uh, here also we need to rotate this character towards uh, the facing enemy the attacker so we can actually set location yeah we can basically uh, wait do the same thing but we need a reference to the attacker so here I'll add another input let's call it attack save right now we have it get actor location and also get actor location of the current actor and uh, find look at rotation from here to there and let's instantly set the rotation don't think we need to have any delays here let's see how it looks and if we need a delay we can do a, a smooth rotation let's see right okay now and since this npc is a child class of the third person character this function will be this event will be inherited to the npc so we can call the same function on that too and uh, now here on the victim play victim montage and as the attack index use the same attack index oh wait play victim we need to use this message not this function and as the attacker we need to give a reference to the self which is this uh, this actor who is at doing the attack at the moment compile okay shall we see how it looks now right it worked uh, but not finished and one more thing we need to make this mesh 
not to block the camera trace response because if it happens our camera jumps when we go through this character when we do the attack so I think that is still happened ah, sorry we need to ignore that channel not just for the mesh but for the capsule right and also we need to enable ragdoll as well so uh, in here I did enable this core ragdoll notifier so let's go to the animation blueprint and event graph here let's implement core rag doll right now uh -huh. under bpi attack let's add another function core fractal all right now let's implement in the character correct so this should also happen only once get the mesh set simulate physics to true and also we need to detach the cartoon so set simulate physics but before that we need to set the collision profile of these two uh, set collision enabled physics only we don't need any queries so physics only should be enough collision presets no collision uh, yeah should I no let's test and see right now in here we can get pawn try get pawn owner and go right to let's see I think it didn't work the ragdoll effect didn't work why This does not have a physics asset. Why is that? Is that the problem? Let's check now. Yeah, okay. That was the issue. Alright, now it is working. And when that happens, we need to disable collisions for. for the capsule and everything but yeah it's not important at the moment um, okay now let's add some other animations so let's create montages for all of these 
executed one here I'll add corrector and executed two Here I'll add corrector and executed three. Here I'll add corrector. Mm executed well I'll do I'll do the same for the four five as well but I will not record it right now for the executions let me select uh, all these one two three four five we have already created six seven create any montages and one by one just like before right let's call this one slash sorry not this tab might th because this is not actually a step so this is more like a slash And this should be the is this a decapitation or is this like cutting through the middle of the body yeah it's more like cutting through middle of the body so I'll add another new notifier mm, cut I'll name it L uh, it the cutting is start from um, left side sorry right side of the character the victim and go upward as it goes to the uh, left side so let's name it cut no dismember left down and write up LDRU right for this one this is a slash oh we didn't need a new notifier we can add existing one slash slash and this is a more like a decapitate yeah let's try decapitate here okay just like this i will add notifiers accordingly but at the moment we are not going to implement decapitation or any dismemberment that would be in the next episode but I still need to add these notifiers right now I created all those animations montages and under finishes so we have like seven different variations six seven elements and yeah so the first one it should be wait executed is this one execution one 
ओके सेकंड वन एक्सीक्यूशन टू एन एक्सीक्यूटेड टू सो जस्ट लाइक दिस आई एम गोना साइन ऑल ऑफ द डिफरेंट सेट्स राइट सो आई असाइन देम नाउ लेट्स ऐड फिर मो कैरेक्टर्स like this right now oh wait i forgot to enable root motion so select all these animations and bulk credit to our property means tricks under root motion enable and save right now let's see All right. That's all. Mm. Okay. So with this, I'd like to stop this episode. And if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. Link would be in the description below. And I will share the project files of this project. But uh, I will not include the Katana, Ghost Samurai Pack or any other assets that is uh, that I don't have rights to share. But I will only share the blueprint. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. see you in another episode goodbye yeah and in the next episode i will implement the dismemberment part where the character will be able to decapitate and the character will be able to cut through the opponent